Had a pretty good day at work. Uh, had to wrestle a guy, kind of. Um, drunk came in, just fucking, just blasted out of his mind. Um, they set him up in a bed, and I mean, like, kind of propped him, because he was, like, falling down drunk, doesn't quite cover it. He was already fell down. It was, like, he, he couldn't even stand. And once he worked up the gumption to actually try to get up, um, they wanted to put him in a green gown so that we would know he wasn't supposed to go anywhere, and they wanted to strap him to the bed. Took like five of us to hold him down. He's yelling a bunch of shit in Spanish. Uh, he looked me in the eye a couple of times because I had to lean down real close to him, and uh, and he, he would say Blanco because I was like the only white guy in the room. And then he'd say a bunch of shit that was completely lost on me because I don't speak Spanish. But he was, like, it's... I could kind of tell by the tone of his voice and, like, kind of his timbre that he was picking his words kind of carefully and being real deliberate about it. And again, it was completely lost on me. I have no idea what he was trying to say. Which I thought was pretty funny that this guy's like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna put this guy in his place. And he says, Blanco. Doop 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 and I fucking I didn't catch any of it. I was just like, okay. Like he called me cabron and I kinda like I know that's bad. I don't know what it means, but I know it's bad. But they, they stuck him and he, he went down pretty easy. And that was really the only thing that happened. Um my headphones shut up. Uh, it turns out that because a bunch of shitheads were filming something on our front step and blocking everything and kinda being dicks to people. Um, the mailman just delivered all the mail to the apartment on the bottom floor, and I just ran into them when I got home from work, and they're like, oh, hey, I think we've got some of your mail here. Well, here you go. And they handed me the mail, and I thanked them. It was nice of them to hang on to it like that, but I had words with the people that were filming when I left for work this morning, uh, when I was walking out, they... One of them held their hand up because I think they were they were actively filming. And I was trying to leave for work. And they were filming on my front step, which is my only way out. And one of them like put their hands up as in like, hey, hold on, we're shooting. And I promptly ignored them and walked out and I think ruined the shot. And then started asking them, like, hey, why do you got all these plants here in front of my mailbox? And like, oh, they can't, they can't, they, they were from the apartment inside here. And they, they were in the way for a shot, so we had to move them. Like, you had to move them in front of my mailbox. I didn't get my mail because of this. And I'm like, it's... I, I think they thought I was just going to kind of walk away. And I'm like, no, we're not... We're having this conversation. You can't just fucking put whatever you want here. This is... Like, I live here, okay? I told them, like, it's, I, I get it if you're paying the guy on the second floor. But, I mean, that's... Like, I... You, you can't just be in the way. you got to warn us when you're doing this. And you can't put stuff in front of the mailbox because then the mailman doesn't deliver. So, And they were talking about, like, oh, well, it's okay. It's, I mean, we're, we're going to be gone at 8. And I'm like, okay, that, that helps me a lot. That definitely makes it so that my mail was delivered yesterday. So I, was, I was in kind of a shitty mood this morning, or I guess this evening when I was going to work. And I decided I wanted to take it out on some mailmen. Or not mailmen, fuck. I'm tired. Uh, some camera people. Uh, so I did. And fuck those guys. They were kind of dicks. But yeah, no, now I'm home. I got my, got my fancy headphones now. So I can actually listen to something on the train. And not have to listen to the cries of my fellow New Yorkers as they shuffle around doing whatever. I don't know. I think a lot of them are doing drugs. But, yep, yeah, got work tomorrow, and then I'm off for two days. This is going to be great. Uh, still got to take my phone in. I want to I wanna get to that tomorrow. Because um, it, keeps, it keeps dying when it's still got most of its battery left. And I, it seems the only way I can get it back is just hook it up to a charger for a minute. And then reboot the phone, and then the phone's fine. Like, I, it died at, like, 55%. That was several hours ago, and I went and jumped it off a charger, and it's been fine since then. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of all I got. It was not a, not a super busy day. It was pretty alright.